Greetings, welcome back to Hand of Fate. The more you play, the more I wonder. About what? About what? The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Oh, of the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Uh, this I'll remove and oh, I'll remove this, I guess. No, stay low, I won't do it myself. Was okay, I'll just remove it, I don't care. Mm. I have something that... no. I will remove the spread measures. That's because I rather have scorching zeal. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. Scales. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Let me know. <laughs> so often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their you memory is celebrated, but they are lost. You pass a funeral, it's obvious from the side of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wondermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, Wanderer? Sure. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had this artifact not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Okay. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. And Harry, it's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying the proper rites. Yeah. Ha. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Really? Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. You reach Wondermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing the vigil. I'll return to his shield. Thank you, thank you, and... Oh, you got me. Very nice Ooh. indeed. You have done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare you for you a sacred artifact that you may continue good work through the dark days ahead. Just give me. Just give it to me. Stop with those empty promises. This I'll come down. Mm, yeah. Seriously. Should have removed the eggs. Moving ever forward, hunting for the truth. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. Really? A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. I know. Spirit walk. Healer's ring and feathered eyes. I don't even have a cold, I just wanted to see those I new items. Oh, it's you again. Frivolity is not my forte. Hmm? Oh, let's withdraw.
I hate it. Oh. Hey. This one? No, no, I would. I need a huge success. This one? God damn it! An item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to take your time. Yeah. So close. <laughs> Getting that goddamn token. Ah. But that blessing is very useful, that kind of thing. Nice. A challenge to... for you and a token if you succeed. Okay, she needs me to pay. Oh, okay. I hate you. This one? No. This one? Damn it! Damn. Mystic exists and open her eyes. You detect a hint of disappointment. Be on the lookout for coming events. They can cast their shadows beforehand. Oh, I can pay. One. I'll get it eventually. Select your desire. This one? Yes! The mystic's eyes flash wide open. You, your fortune is awash with death and distraction, but there is also hope. You carry fortune's favor with you. How may I aid you in your endeavors? To someone with such a powerful aura as yours, I could tell you what I know. The price for such information, though, would be high. Sadly, I see that you have nothing I desire. No powerful magical artifacts. Perhaps if you were turning for I would be more forthcoming. Oh damn you look Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. All the lands in the kingdom are being overrun with ratmen. Merchants in my lands are attacked on the road, as are any travelers such as yourself. My guards are needed here with me. But if I had just 50 gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nests or call their numbers. numbers. I don't have 50 gold. I understand that contributing to common good may be unfamiliar to your sort, but I urge you to return immediately if you change your mind. It's not that I don't want to, because I can't. Nature is the greatest threat, even with the queen now dispatched. Be swift. You are traveling through a desert when a dust storm approaches. You may be able to reach the safety of some nearby hills before the storm hits you. I'll certainly try. Okay. Did that Archangel blessing? Take it. Made the difficulty harder? And wait, there's something. Uh, I think it was a priest. Can I? No, I cannot see the map. Can I? Oh no, it looks like traveling something. I will. I will starve. I don't care. <laughs> he is not your Refuse. Remember, he wait. can only ask, not order. Okay, no, I'm not. 
Okay, I, I know, I lost something, I lost some food, but I don't... I not really go with that goddamn Alicia again. What brings you to play the game? I don't know. Ah, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Okay, it's only four of them. We're fine. We're perfectly fine. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, I hate you! <laughs> Go away! Would you mind? Do you mind? Anything? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure you are grateful for that. We play for a token now. Boy lad, the enigmatic goblin Mr. Lionel climbs out of a barrel behind the tavern as we pass through a small village. I've made some refinements to the magic device, and I think we'll do better this time, if we take another shot at those treasure vaults. You see, goblins sometimes had their best treasure, magic items and such like, in enchanted treasure chests. The magic amulet will now reveal this to you. If there should chance to be one in any treasure vault we happen to visit. What you say, lad? Shall we have so another shot at the Goblin King's treasure? Sure. Good lad. Let's go right now. I think I've located one in a desert not far from here, under the blazing sun of nameless desert. You and the goblin find a door, partially buried beneath the shifting sands. You can keep whatever gold you recover, just remember to look around for treasure chests. They're sure to hold something worthwhile. Can you feel say so? They react before I even get. I before I even touch those uh, sigils, but I guess those sigils are. Those sigils are hovering. Okay. No, 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 no. Damn it. There's something here. Yep. Is the chest he was talking about? Oh, I hate it. I'm nearly dead. I want out. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Good work, Mr. Lionel exclaimed, seeing the loot you were torn with. You see? I told you there was more to be gained from these vaults. You divide up treasure between the two of you. Give me that. Yes. I was never meant to be so controlled and so channeled. Okay. And fifteen gold. A few more raids like this, and I'll be living like a king myself. Mr. Lionel grins happily as he stuffs his new treasures. Into a pair of old sacks, then head sorry, then heads back into the desert. And we'll turn back. Great. <laughs> I will go shopping. For some food mainly. Is there something interesting? Ring of Justice. Oh my god, I'm going to be straight. Oh, I don't want that. 
Vamos só ver isso. Beleza. Excuse me. Let's just have one day. Because you made money anymore. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm more than fine with that. Let me kill you. No. Thank you. Really? Now I have surplus of money, once I don't need it. Turns to fight another day. Don't run like that. Run, 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 run. run. Kill him. This annoying little fella. Run. No. Is he burning? Yes, he is. No. Okay. Stop! Are you hearing yourself or what? <sighs> Whoa! Really? That's why I don't like fighting with him. Just keeps on going and going and going, never stops. Nothing. No, thank you. Go on. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. On a dark, moonless night, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friends. I am in need of some sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He asks, asks, taking out the bag of coins. Yeah? The stranger moves with unnatural speed to grasp you firmly and bite you at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. Thank you, he says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. I'm not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? If you will be taking 10, yeah. Okay. Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give you up your blood for material gain. The stranger goes on to tell you a tale of sec secret blood auctions and where they may be found. Okay, let me kill <laughs> them. I think this is the last one. One more. Yeah. Okay. Are you afraid of the grave? No. What irony. In an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirit sense the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. 
You spend a peaceful night, awakening you well rested and fully recovered from your wounds. One more piece of the puzzle. Thank you! I know it's something that's not terrible. Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. Okay, I'll try. Hit your guys. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. I was too far. Really? Why are you regaining your composure so fast? Played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Really? The wand represents my will in the purest sense. Okay. It is not too late for you to give up now. I won't. Go peacefully to your fate. No. Me to mine. I think you begin to assemble a credible <laughs> deck. Let us see what happens next. Next time. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye.